Dinner. Since 2015, Gagan switched all his menus to emoji menus. So every menu since then from the old restaurant has had an iteration of emoji. It could be a test, it could be a puzzle, but today, since a lot of us are traveling, they're going to be stamps. So where do you stamp said stamps? Right here. <laughs> so this is your passport for tonight. Okay. Actually, technically, it's Gagan's passport for tonight. <laughs> so what does this mean? It basically means every dish you're going to get tonight is going to correlate with one of these emojis. But I'm not going to tell you which one it is. Sir and Madame, your job tonight is to guess which emoji goes with which dish. Okay. So obviously if it's a fish, of course, it's pretty obvious. If it's yeah. a prawn course, it's very obvious. But of course there are some there that are a little bit tricky. Okay. If not, it wouldn't be Gagan and Nan. <laughs> there could even be a stamp that you might have to use twice. Okay. Which means there could also be a gag stamp that you may not use at all. Okay. <laughs> so the okay. whole idea of it, of course, is to have a little bit of fun, a little back and forth, a little dancing, okay. but definitely using your imagination. Okay, thank you. Good evening, guys. How are you doing today? Very good. So I'm here to present your first dish, it's called Yogurt Explosion. What I'm going to ask you to do, gently pick up the green leaf and put it in the middle of your hand, please. Okay, so the story behind this... Oh! That was close. So the story behind this dish is usually when you go to street food in India, in a lot of places they actually give you a leaf instead of the plate. So here is a little plate. It's an eatable lotus leaf made out of green chutney. Then there goes your main component. This is a yogurt fairy. So, the hard part about this dish is that we need to make sure you have it all in one bite. Everything at once, please, including the leaf. Alright, so for your next course. So this is inspired in uh, one of Chef Gagan's travel in Japan. So Chef uh, really loves Japan. Like He's been there for like more than uh, 90 times. So this is a hamachi tart. So the hamachi, uh, the hamachi is wrapped in nori. At the base, you will find a uh, cauliflower cream and finish off with fried kale. Please use your hand to enjoy the dish in two bites. Wow, fried kale, hamachi, and cauliflower. Cauliflower what? At the bottom, right? <laughs> For your next course, you're gonna eat the brain. Alright, so the brain is made of polga, polga ice cream. So at the base, you have a chlorophyll brioche. And finish off with a beetroot reduction that gives the sweet uh, flavor to it. So please hold the brioche and eat the brain slowly because it might give you brain freeze. Um, oh, this one dish is gonna call is gonna call for is gonna call for something very very um, like us from Gagan. Uh, every time someone tells us something we do not like, or every time we wanna show someone we love them, we do this. We do this. We do this. So we're gonna ask you to do the exact same thing because I need to plate this dish on our favorite finger, the middle finger. The middle finger. Yes. So please, middle fingers, nice and high. So the inspiration behind this dish is a street food from India called Pani Puri. Oh. It is normally served on a bogapa or a puchka and it's dunked in this very bright green liquid. The same green liquid can be found inside of this ring. So I ask you to have the entire thing, yes green, to have the entire thing in one bite. So you need to go up and suck your finger. Please enjoy our Pani Puri. So, for the next five courses, the first, the next five courses are going to be inspired by Indian street food. So it's our journey to India. So in front of you, the first course, we call this charcoal. So no matter the north or south of India, they cook over charcoal. So this is chef's interpretation of charcoal. But I'm going to invite charcoal. both of you to try it and then tell me what you think it is. Okay. 
is a uh, gewar. So this is commonly known as dessert, but this time chef made into a savory dish. Oh. So it's actually a crispy fried meal cracker. On top you have the egg yolk emulsion and truffle ice cream. And then finish off with a uh, oxali sleeve and some mushroom. Please use your hand to enjoy the dish in few bites. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> few bites. course we're gonna have the dosa so but this time we made it together with abalone huh? yes so this is the <laughs> only place where you can have a uh, dosa with abalone so inside you will find a coconut chutney and pickle chutney please have it in two bites okay, thank, thank you, you. Yes. Oh, that's so cute Alright, so this dish is actually inspired in a star wars film so one of the characters the name is Korg. P-O-R-G. So it's a very cute uh, bird, wingless bird actually. And uh, so that's the name, pork kebab. <laughs> so this is actually a minced uh, duck leg and then glazed with vindaloo sauce. Oh. So please use the feet of the duck and uh, as a skewer and then enjoy the dish. Wow, it's a duck. Vindaloo, we're going to walk Mm, delicious. Alright, so for your next course, you have the dab chingri. So it literally means uh, prawn and coconut. Oh. So it is wrapped in a sweet potato leaves with toasted coconut, shiro, ebi, and puffed buckwheat. Please have it in a few bites. Thank you. So for your next course, you have the fish pepper fry. So this is also, this is actually a kamotsu fish, also known as rosy sea bass. So this is from Japan. It's a very rare fish which is only available during winter time. So once you cut the fish, you will find a little bit uh, pinkish in color. That's the name, uh, rosy sea bass. Alright, so it is served together with a coconut cream with a set of uh, caviar from France and finish off with a pandan uh, oil. Please enjoy. Oh. So this is your second course. So this is actually a fish bone rasam. So we use the akamotsu fish, uh, akamotsu fish bone, and then uh, cook it with a tamarind and different spices. So it's like a palate cleanser for you after oh. eating the fish. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Here we have a 14-day aged dry duck. So at the base, there is a chili and honey sauce with some chestnut spices and some puff rice. But the really cool thing about this dish is actually the plate itself, right? Is it the, the, just now all the big combined or something? That's a great guess. Now I look at it, it doesn't look like a net, but actually it's the rice paddy fields. Huh? You know, the paddy fields of Thailand. Oh my god, rice. what? So where is this plate from? Japan. Thailand? It's made in Japan, uh, especially for Gagan. Oh, that's nice. But it's meant to replicate the paddy the oh. fields of Thailand. That's cool. Cool, right? But where's the rice? In the puff rice. <laughs> it's right there, in the middle, between the two ducks. So just the all, all those plate, right? Is it meant for like any... Yeah. yeah. Nice. So actually, if you put them all together, yeah. they form the map of India. Oh. Yeah. But it's just we don't have enough plates to uh, leave them on the table. Okay, okay. Great. Oh, it's real. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> so, first ingredient, burrata from Italy. After that, we put scallops that we marinate and we dry it in three days. The marination is a fermented chili paste, Thai style, a little bit of ginger, garlic, and a little chilies, a ton of ginger chilies. On top of that, wafun uni. From Hokkaido, I just spent And then I'm gonna finish with a little bit of rust in this case. <laughs> sometimes it's last, sometimes it's MB, I don't really know what it is. It's actually curry leaf oil. What I'm gonna ask you to do, please, is to mix everything. What's that? It's Oh, then the. Scallop and then the uni and then curry leaf oil. <laughs> so, 
Tada! <laughs> so, uh, Chef Gagan always says, an Indian meal is not complete without rice and curry. So here we have long grain basmati rice, or pulao. Inside some corn, some snack peas. And this is an Alaskan king crab curry. So, please enjoy. Thank you. But you can only find it in the mountainous regions. Gagan had to go to a monastery to learn this specific recipe. But it, it definitely heals from India, no matter what people tell you. This is tiramisu. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so here you'll find tiramisu. So four different kinds of chocolate, mascarpone cheese. What kind of chocolate? <laughs> so there is milk chocolate, dark chocolate, the caramelized chocolate and white chocolate. Okay. Wow. 